Roll intro. Bonjour les poux. Et les chatons. Good morning. From Department 16, La Charente, the northernmost tip, the southwest of France. Yesterday's video, which featured Philip Schofield, didn't do great. Anyway, it was good to get off my chest anyway. And if, yeah, a few people uh, commented, the ones who had opinions. Always appreciate an opinion. Sorry, I've got a cat trying to uh, climb on me. Um, so today, Darren and I, which is uh, the Sons of Agony, your motorcycle, it's not a group, is it? It's a pair. We're off to uh, Orador Seglen. It's been yeah, suggested a few times by people on the channel. Uh, and I've always put it off. Um, as you know, um, yeah, those of you that, that follow, uh, I've got uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. So I don't know how, how it's gonna affect me, but I've, I've got grounded techniques that'll help and uh, you know I can always walk away. But in short, Orador Seglen, which is probably pronounced incorrectly, is a village that is about uh, 45 minutes away from here. And on the 10th of June, 1944, the whole, most of the village was, um, was, it was massacred by the, uh, by the SS. And uh, it's basically remained um, empty but everything kept in its place. So um, apparently it's a bit grim, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go and see. It's not the look I was going for, for talking about something serious, I've gotta be honest. Uh, but life is what it is, isn't it? Um, it's, it's staying in, so anyway. So, uh, right, on the motorbike, let's get to meet Darren at 10 o'clock at Confort. Right, let's get on the bike. <laughs> Firstly, apologies about the hair. <laughs> or the lack of. <laughs> so, yes, you know from down um, yeah, from last week. Um, this we're now part of the Sons of Agony. <laughs> so, well, that name. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, so we're here at Orador uh, Sir Glen. We're in the car park. Uh, you do have to pay to get in, but it's not very much. Um, but yeah, 643 people were massacred on the 10th of June. 1944, which was uh, there was a similar sort of massacre uh, on the 10th of June the same year in in Italy as well. So yeah, now let's go and take it for, for a bit of a tour.
right, so basically, the morning of the 10th of June, 1944, the, uh, the SS surrounded the village. Uh, an order was given. Everybody, well, they were told that, uh, that there was going to be a search for weapons. Uh, everyone was confident that they weren't going to find any. Uh, they were all ushered, ushered to, to different places. Church, um, where 400 people uh, were uh, put in and they were set fire to, shot and hang, had hand grenades thrown in. Uh, out of everything, only five people escaped. Afterwards, uh, the German soldiers, I say soldiers in the loosest sense of the term, um, went to fight up in Normandy. I think only uh, five survived and uh, they had to stand trial. And they got off. So it was 642 people um, that died here that day, obviously. Your Wikipedia is wrong. So here, I'm walking along the railway line that takes you to the small train station. Yeah, so that morning on 10th of June 1944, a lot, a lot of occupants worked in Limoges. So I caught the train from the train station and then returned later on that evening to find that everyone was dead. office as well, whether it's house and office. Yeah. Yeah. Really increased in numbers.
Right, so, so that last shot there was a um, bullet hole. That must have been some high powered rifle to go through that because it went straight up to the knuckle. Well, the shot before that, um, a woman managed to escape and she did so by hiding behind, is it an altar? Yeah, an altar. And then climbing out the window. That's the back of the bikes. The sun's out. How proper hot, as is Darren. Uh, just can't wait to get back on the bikes to, uh, to get cooled down. But that was yeah, really, really interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm fine. Yes, yeah, so don't worry. So we'll have to go and get something to eat. Right, back home. Um, I had a great day today with Dan. Went for a cheeky Burger King. Um, and then we came back. Robbie and I have had our hair cut. Um, hairdresser told me my hair isn't grey at the side. It's white. <laughs> anyway, so tomorrow we've got friends coming around. Andy and Camille. Um, we've just actually seen Camille in the, in the hairdressers. So, uh, that's a lo lovely evening this evening. It's, well, it's 10 to 5, is it evening? Well, I was told to say bon soiree uh, at the hairdresser, so it, mu it must be that time of day. Anyway, I'm off Luke. I'll see you tomorrow. Just doing stuff. I left in a big sofa, which you're not going to see until Friday, because this video is getting way too long. So what I'm doing today, I'll show on Friday. So, laters. <laughs>